Let me share with you a little bit of a secret. So then the next question becomes, well, how do we get there? I want to feel that way, Coach Nick, but what do I need to do? How do you know whether or not you have really good handles? How do you know if you can dribble the ball really well or if you're just a mediocre ball handler? In this video, I'm going to share with you a question you can ask yourself, a simple yes or no question to determine whether or not you have absurdly good handles. Yesterday, I came across a video of Peyton Pritchard practicing ball handling, and I started to wonder how do we know whether or not our handles are really good? I thought about it for a little bit and then reflected on my own basketball handles. And then I remembered something and came up with a question to determine whether or not we have amazing handles. So this is how we're going to determine whether we have exceptionally good handles or whether our ball handling maybe is just mediocre. Here's the question. Have you ever felt as though the ball were an extension of your arm? Have you ever felt as though the ball were an extension of your arm? So you're like, what are you, what are you talking about? What do I mean by that? I'm, I, I mean, you could be dribbling the ball and it feels as though whatever movement you do, maybe it's a, a super quick spin move. Maybe you're sham guiding a big dude off a of pick and roll. Maybe you're crossing up a defender while running at full speed. Whatever move you're doing, you feel like that ball is always going to be there, just like your hand is always going to be part of your body no matter which way your arm goes. That's what I mean by the ball feeling as though it's an extension of your body. I've had this feeling myself, and I can tell you it's one of those experiences that's difficult, if not impossible to describe until you've had the feeling yourself. And that's where you need to get if you want to have exceptionally good handles. You need to feel as though the ball is an extension of your body. And I promise you this, we could ask Kyrie, we could ask Peyton, we could ask CP3, we could ask Pete Maravich, we could ask any phenomenal ball handler and they will be like, oh, Coach Nick, I actually, I absolutely know what you're talking about. I've had that feeling before. I get that feeling all the time, like the ball's part of my body. But, but I wanna share with you something else. Let me share with you a little bit of a secret. Every great ball handler doesn't feel this way all the time. It's not as though Kyrie wakes up and we can throw a ball into his hands and he's like, oh wow, this thing feels like an extension of my body. It doesn't, it doesn't happen like that. He has to practice and I don't know how long because I'm not Kyrie, but I suspect the, the better someone's handles are, the shorter amount of time that it is, but he has to practice ball handling for at least a good 15 to 20 minutes before he feels this way, before he feels as though the, bot, before he feels as though the, bot, the ball is part of his body. And I know when I used to practice ball handling, it would take a good, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes of really good drills before I felt that way. And, and let me share with you something else, something that's even more powerful than what we've already and what we've already discussed. Oh, and before I share this with you, if you're finding value in this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you won't miss my next video. And if this video gets 30 likes, I will do a follow-up video on ball handling and share with you a simple secret to get the most out of any ball handling exercise. So here's something even crazier about having this feeling as though the ball is an extension of your hand. I'm gonna share this with you and then we're gonna talk about how to get there if you've never felt this way before, if you've never felt as though the ball has been part of your body. So here's something really crazy. When you have this feeling, when you have this feeling the ball is part of you, it is incredibly, it's incredibly empowering. You feel as though you can do anything on the court. You feel as though you can get anywhere on the court or do any move at any time. And now it's up to your defender to try and figure out where you're going to go. And I remember when I felt this way and I thought to my, I remember when I felt this way, I thought to myself, I thought to myself, dude, I feel sorry for the guy who has to guard me. He has no idea what I can do with this ball. And that's exactly where we need to get you. This feeling, this, um, this sense of power, this sense of command we have over the ball, this is the sense we want all players to feel. But guess what? Very, very few players, unfortunately, ever feel as though the ball were an extension of their body. So then the next question becomes, well, how do we get there? I want to feel that way, Coach Nick, but what do I need to do to get there? And the good news is the answer to that question is actually, it's actually really simple. The bad news is, well, 
it it takes it takes a lot of time and a lot of dedication, but you can do it. I watched another YouTube video where it said um, Peyton Pritchard wakes up every morning at 5.15 a.m. and practices ball handling for about an hour or until his hands bleed. And I can totally relate to this. In fact, when I'm done practicing ball handling, my hands are black. They're covered in soot. They're covered in dirt. They're covered in oil. Whatever else happens to be on the court because my hands have touched the ball that many times. In fact, I can go up to any player after they're done practicing and I can tell whether or not they've done enough ball handling drills simply by looking at their hands. I can look at the palm of your hands and tell you whether or not you need to spend more time practicing your handles. It's that simple. So how dirty are your hands? Are you having to spend a good 30 seconds scrubbing them after practice with some soap and water and maybe a rag or do they still look fresh? That's the difference between between someone who wants to be a phenomenal ball handler and someone who just wants to get by with average handles. So if you want to get that feeling as though as though the ball is an extension of your body, you need to practice ball handling a lot. A good hour a day will keep your defender away and it'll make you feel as though that ball is really inseparable from your body. If you want to see a follow-up video about how to get the most out of any ball handling exercise, absolutely any ball handling exercise, click that like button below. And if I get, if we get 30 likes, I'll make it happen. I'll make that video. All right. Peace. Uh, to me, he looks like a chinless geek. But does he, is he indecisive? Is he evil? Uh, what are the words, the single words you'd use to describe him? You need to work on your jump shot.